The United States is gearing up to host its 60th presidential election next year as candidates woo voters. However, President Joe Biden, who is seeking a second term at the White House, isn't doing a lot of campaigning, at least not yet. But when he meets with donors behind closed doors, he's spending a lot of time talking about former President Donald Trump. President Biden, speaking at a private fundraising event here in New York, said that Donald Trump has the best chance to be nominated as the Republican Party's 2024 candidate, further fueling speculations of a possible rematch between the two. The American president has regularly claimed that the country's democratic values might face danger if Donald Trump is reelected. At the fundraising event, Biden again said that defending democracy will be a central theme in his re-election campaign, just as it was back in 2020 and in the 2022 midterms. Meanwhile, according to a new CNN poll, Trump still maintains a massive lead over other GOP presidential hopefuls in the race for the official nomination. Trump is still the first choice of 39 percent of many GOP primary voters. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, once trailing Trump, now stands in fifth place with his support narrowing to 10 percent from 23 percent in July. Tech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie now stand in second, third and fourth places, respectively. Approximately 51 percent of likely Republican primary voters believe that Trump is the front runner to win the upcoming general election. All right, for more on this, we are now being joined by senior journalist Ray Locker from Washington, D.C. Hi, Ray. Great to see you again. Hey, Susan. So I, I'm not sure what's new with uh, President Biden talking about Donald Trump so much to his donors, considering the fact that this was apparently a strategy that got him into the White House and raised a lot of money, as he said himself, back in 2020 and 2022 uh, as well. So are we going to see the same strategy moving forward? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Trump is the imminent danger, right? You don't talk about how you're going to run against Nikki Haley if she's the nominee. Trump is the largest thing in the rearview mirror. He's coming at him. And he know, everybody knows that he's probably going to be the Republican nominee. And that scares the hell out of a lot of people. So if you're looking to raise money, fear is a great motivator. And in this case, I think it's true. Okay, but... What, so here's the thing. I, I'm glad you brought that up. The fear mongering. Do you think that this will ultimately you say it's a great motivator? Do you think it's also going to work again this year as well? Do Americans want somewhat of, you know, uh, a candidate that talks about hope, about positivity moving into the future? Well, I think Biden's doing that. And if you look at his record, he is somebody who is building for the future. The infrastructure bill, which was a bipartisan success, is doing that. It's building our infrastructure for a better future. The Inflation Reduction Act is fueling the rise in renewable energy. That's future oriented. And you contrast that with some of the proposals from the Republicans about doubling down on fossil fuels. I mean, the contrast is clear. You have that. And then you have the imminent problem of Donald Trump. Everybody knows what he was like as president. That's why he's no longer the president. And so you have to do both. And I think Biden's doing that fairly effectively. All right. Well, we'll be watching very closely. And we do have that uh, Republican debate, the second one coming up next week as well. Ray, it's always great to talk to you. Senior journalist Thank Ray you. Locker joining us from Washington, D.C.